I'm not going to regret calling you today. Yeah, 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 yeah. What game are you playing? Game. Are you playing like, Candy Crush? What it's is not it? Candy Crush. It's one of those games where I have to stitch, shut the fuck up kind of game. You have to focus and pay attention? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're a 50-year-old, 12-year-old. I'm not 50, but anyway, let's start. You're a 49-year-old, 12-year-old. I'm 47. For your 47-year-old, 12-year-old. Can you close that door? I don't, I don't like when doors He doesn't are like open. when the doors are open. Please close the goddamn door right now. Right now, he's going to freak the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. Appease the guest. And, that, and you have to slam it? Fucking. Um, also, the other night when I was um, about to when I went up on stage in the main room. Yeah. I don't need your like sneaky little redhead in the audience like that. What do you mean you don't need me in the audience? I was sitting and watching your. Set. I know I did. I didn't like it because I looked to my right and I see this redheaded fucking figure with your face. So when you see people in the audience that you recognize, I don't like it. You can just keep going. Instead, I, instead he goes like this. He goes, oh, oh, hey, red, hey, red, interrupting your own joke to say hi to me. I didn't say it like that. What is wrong with you? Why did you attack me just now, my race? Wait a minute. Yeah. This is so fucked up. Are you pl you're playing a bullshit game because you came in here with bad attitude and I said, did not. I don't be here. I, I feel so be grateful to be here, my friend. You and I are very good friends. I like everything about you. I do. I think you're a good workhorse. You have good work ethic. You have a good um, uh, value system and morality. Mm -hmm. And when I see you, I just feel joy in my heart. I really feel joyous when I see you. And I just love um, your weaselly ways. Uh, yeah. In here, we pour whisk, 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 whisk. You were that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers. Ladies, yeah, and gentlemen, yeah, 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 yeah. ladies and gentlemen, yeah. welcome back to the Whiskey Ginger Podcast. <laughs> yeah. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that for all my guests, but I actually mean it for my guest today. <laughs> yeah. Bobby how, Lee. How baby. many times have I done this podcast? Three. This is your third. You're going to keep doing it. Am I the most? Yeah. Okay. Thank You're you. You're the biggest returning guest. Everybody likes this. Yeah. People like when we're together. And you know what? what? We, we, owe, we owe the fans something because we put out an email that said, hey, we're going to make a movie at gmail.com. And people sent in some some amazing. We got some ideas. Oh my god! Oh, let me let me hear some. A, a shitload of ideas. Let me hear some ideas. I can't even count how many we got, but I will say thank you for everybody who submitted. Just to give some. Um, I just want to let you know, though. I just I'm, yeah. I, I was doing Paulie Shore's movie, mm -hmm. and um, I can't play the kind of part that I played in Paulie Shore's movie in our movie. What's the What did you play in Paulie Shore's movie? Well, he calls me and he goes, "Dude, you got to be in my movie." Perfect. And I go, "I don't want to do it." <laughs> You just said, I don't want to do it? Yeah, and then he was like, dude, you have to do it, dude. Gotta do the movie, bro. So then I go, I'll call you back in a couple of days, and then like three weeks went by, mm. and my agent called me and said, paulie has been calling us, and you have to do the movie. I go, I don't want to do it. But wait, 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 wait. Why would he call your agent if you already said no to his face? I didn't say no to his face. I said, oh, I call you back. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I, yeah. No, I, I didn't pick up his things and his texts. <laughs> and then... Um, Why don't you want to do the movie? Because the part that I had to play was Chinese Dumpling. That's what you are. We play what we are. I play a beautiful, handsome lead, always. And you play a, you know, a Roomba. <laughs> if there was a role for a Roomba in a movie, you could do it. You know how that guy was in the R2-D2 costume? You could be a Roomba. You could be a little vacuum that goes around. A beep, beep, a beep, beep, a beep, beep. A beep beep. You know, back in the day, yeah, when our people used to build the railroads, yeah, the mine Irish, and yours together, the, the Iris and I could have killed you then. No way, no way. I would have killed you. No, because we were stronger than you guys by far. All the little Asians, you were the underling, you were the underbosses. We've talked about this before. Anyway, what are the movie ideas? <laughs> Listen. I can't believe so it. So many cruise ship suggestions, by the way. There were way too many cruise ships. Everybody wanted us on a cruise together. Me, you, Dalia, Sasso, uh, Callan, Shab, Rogan. People really loved cruise ships. Wizard, uh. Wizard Wars, that was is it like? Is it like, oh, Wizard Wars, Wars is good. Wizard Wars was cool, right? Yeah, that's Somebody a good idea. Wizard Wars, yeah. They wanted us to be, uh, each of us had different powers. Yeah. Let me read you some of the, Adrian Lockhart, shout out, Adrian Lockhart. Make it a comedy horror movie along the lines of Final Girl. The idea is all you guys are going to decide to run for president of your respective states. Theo Vaughn, Louisiana, Shop from Colorado, Santino, Illinois, Bobby from wherever the fuck he's from. The villain is that what that's is that what it says there? Yes, yeah, what it says. The villain, if you want to keep it to Joe Rogan, make it a plot twist. You're running, gaining notoriety. Someone starts offing us. How about the, uh, oh, well, let's go back to the boat idea. Yeah, which one? Just the cruise ship idea. Yeah, the cruise ship. Why don't we do this? They said Joe is the captain. No, no, we'll do this. Yeah, you, I, you, I, I'm going to do a twist on it. Mm -hmm. It's basically Titanic Part Two. Yeah. 
but it's from the perspective of our characters. Oh. Right? So you, Jack and, you know, the, everyone's... Who's Jack? Leo, Leo's character. Is that his name? Yeah, I'm saying, who is Jack out of our friends? Who plays Jack? No one. Because that story is already... So that story oh, is going on already, story. right? Yeah. We're on the boat, right? Yeah, what are we but doing? But we're like, the, like, no one gives a fuck about our characters. We're the people that died in Yeah, the we basement. died really quickly. <laughs> Like no one told us about it sinking. We were in the bottom level of the Yeah, we're the bottom the level. First people to die. Right, right. So I work in the engine room. Yeah. You work in the kitchen. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh Shab uh, I would have to have an accent because back then in the yeah. was it the thirties? Would when Titanic had been in the forties? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have to say stuff like no one ever told told me about the no no one ever told him about the eagles are <laughs> sinking. <laughs> We're gonna die. We're gonna die here. I run down to you because you're my friend. Right, right, right. Friend. Red, red. Ming, Ming. We hit an iceberg. How come no one ever tell us about the iceberg? I don't, I don't know, but we gotta get out as fast as we can. And then we die, though. We die. We right drown. Now. Yeah. But we just gotta be slow. That 45 minutes has to be slow, slow death. What happens though? We get stuck in the kitchen and we have to use all the kitchen tools to get us out. Ye- yeah. And finally, as we get out, we yeah. hug. We're happy. Yeah. We die right then. Yeah. And then, piece like, of the engine breaks and kills both of us. Slices my neck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Titanic too. Can you think about? Can you think how crazy that is? That people, those people on the bottom of the boat, died so fucking fast. Right, you're done. Did everyone die on the Titanic? I don't know the history of no, it. No, 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 no. Tons of people survived. All the rich people that were on top of the boat. They everyone all survived. That slept, everyone that worked on the bottom. They all died. Yeah, yeah, Gone. yeah. They all they all died. Yeah. Let me show, let me tell you the funniest one that I heard. Okay. This was to me one of the funniest ones. Shout out to this dude. This made me laugh so hard. Um, here, this is it. It's <laughs> Mark Orndoff. Uh, Orndor- Orndorf, whatever. I can't remember. I don't know. But he had a great, he had a great, this was great. He said, a group of friends are going on their yearly camping trip. All of us guys. Uh-huh. At the same time, a bear kills a girl who has syphilis. <laughs> okay. Now a black bear in the Smoky Mountains has syphilis rage and is terrorizing campers, hikers, and nature enthusiasts. And the guys have to save the day. Right. So there's a syphilitic black bear. Right. That's running good. wild. And we have to stop it. Is it Eric Griffin? <laughs> Is Eric Griffin the, bug, the, black, the bear? black bear? Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. He's the syphilitic black bear. Yeah. And the girl that he had sex with that had the syphilis was who? Who do you think? So the girl that died who the had that, the syphilis. The, the girl that had the syphilis. Right. She was sleeping with her boyfriend, getting revenge on yeah, him, yeah. And trying to give him syphilis. Yeah. But the bear stops it, kills her, eats her. He gets syphilis. Who's the girl played by? We gotta get a big name. Yeah, we gotta get a huge name. So who can who can get like a one day scene with syphilis? Who do we know? Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman, come on over. I don't know what you're up to right now. I don't know if you're... Do you think she would do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no? Not in a million fucking I'll years. throw some... I know, I know who we could probably get. Who? Anna Faris. Because she's super cool. Yeah, I mean, I've done her podcast. She would do it. She's a friend, you know? Okay, Anna Faris, and who's the boy she's sleeping with? Oh, shit, we gotta get a big name. Yeah, I got a big name. Uh, Chris Pratt. Pratt, done. I can call him up right now. You, do you know Pratt? Nope, not a chance. Yeah, not me even either. Remotely. And he also, they're divorced. They're me. divorced, so I don't think that would work. But that's why it'd be funny. Yeah. She's trying to get him back by giving Right. Yes. Okay, so Syphilitic Black Bear is played by Eric Griffin. Yes. And then... Uh, I, just, I, just, I just want to play a regular guy. No. I'm not Chinese dumpling again. No, no, you can't be. Not for this. Okay, what am I? Korean dumpling. No. You'll be a sweet regular dude. But your but your name will be Noodle. We do have to call you Noodle. <laughs> I don't want to be called Noodle. I'm Noodle? No, you can be a regular guy. Yeah, yeah. Just Jeff. Jeff. I just want to be Jeff. Jeff Wong. Okay, that's cool because yeah, that's Jeff believable. Wong. That's a real name. Yeah, yeah. Jeff Wong. But we, we'll never talk about my race. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Okay, and the syphilitic black bear goes around Eric Griffin terrorizing. How about this one? Scott Brewster said, horse racing comedy. Andrew comes from a family who train and race horses. They're in financial trouble as they haven't had a winner in some time. Bobby Lee is the son of a very wealthy father who immigrated to America and has to win at all costs. And he has the best horses. They go head to head, but Andrew needs his help. Tom, Ari, and Joe are low-level mobster types who make a living fixing races. They hear about this, and they come after us. It sounds like he already wrote that script. Yeah, maybe he did. Some of these guys wrote scripts. No. Yes, some of the people that fucking wrote in wrote wrote scripts. Wait, they wrote a script in two months? Full scripts. In two months, they wrote a script. I got full scripts. You gotta be fucking kidding me. We have hundreds and hundreds. Are they good? Have you read them? Yeah, I read all of them. (laughs) Wait, hold on. There's one more that I thought. Listen, all yeah. of them, uh, so many of them were murder mysteries. The remake of Lost. They wanted us all on an island together. Oh, that's funny. Ghost hunters. Yeah. Because they would love to see you hunt ghosts. Yeah. People said Bobby especially. Uh, I have an idea. You want to hear my idea? 100%. All right. So I have an idea where you and I are like Christian pastors. I'm in. We were, we're at church. I'm in. Okay. 
And you um, fuck boys, and I don't. No, we I don't. Have to stop that's you that's from doing that. No, that's I have not. I right, forget doing it. That. Then I mean, that's okay. St- I'm go. Why I'm do sorry. I have to do that? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm go. You're right. Yeah. Sorry. I never w- would ever fuck a boy. Hmm. I don't know. why I just said that out loud. <laughs> why no, did you say that out loud? We're both pastors. Yeah, yeah. What happened? So you and I are pastors, and um, we we write like a kind of we're in a rock band, like Christian rock band too. Ooh. Yeah, right. Are you listening or no? Yeah, I'm yeah, pitching you this we're idea. A rock, we're a Christian rock band. Right. But we we're like, we also like we work at a we're at, we are we're at a church. We're pastors who also are in the band. Yeah, we run the band what as do well. I play? Right. You and I are just friends that are you no, know. what do I play in the band? Like keyboards. I don't want to play. I don't uh, whatever it is. Just listen to what my fucking pitches. Trumpet. Okay. It has nothing trumpet. to do with it. Go ahead, I play trumpet. It has nothing to do with whatever it I play is. Trumpet. Go okay. Ahead. And um Yeah, right. Go ahead. And we, 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 we put our music online, like on Facebook or whatever. Mm-hmm. And we get like millions of like hits and downloads yeah. from an island somewhere in the Pacific, South Pacific. Ooh. Right? Okay. And it's basically, well, so then basically we, they, they say, you know, we love your music. Can yeah. you come do a show for us? Right? So we, we get money to go. Th- and also they're not Christians and we want to convert them too. Oh, that's why we want to go. That's why we want to go. What's the island called? It's some foreign hour. I because I, I, when I was in the Philippines, Punk Fong. that's when I thought yeah, yeah, it's got to be Punk like a, yeah, a, a a remote island that takes like you have to you know take a plane to Manila, mm-hmm. then take another plane to Cebu, then take a boat to another island and another boat. It's like it, it's so far out there. You have to take plane, plane, yeah, boat, yeah, boat, boat. And you have to ride on a guy's back for like an hour, maybe and a half, right. He's the only one that knows how to get there. But basically what it is, is they already have a stage and everything at this like little island because oh. that's what they, they lure, you know, people in there. Right. And basically they're kind of like, um, they could either be like vampiric or like, you know, in the island of Dr. Moreau, like these fucking creatures. Yeah. But they feed on, on us. And it's a survival movie. Oh, shit. You know. So, they, so, so. But we you and I, we break convert. our Christian just to survive. Yeah. We do all kinds of things. Like I suck one of its. One of the guys' is dicks there. Do I have to do that? No, you don't have to do that. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. But I have to, but <laughs> yeah. I have to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one guy's like, you gotta watch. Yeah, but then, the, but the year before, there was a German like kind of like heavy metal band, and we think that they're eaten. But one of the lead singers there, right, survived. He lives in the forest, Ooh. and he helps us. So the heavy metal band is our savior. One guy, Rammstein. Yeah, Ram, like a, yeah, yeah, du- like a du- tattooed like German guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He still lives there, and he's gonna help us. Wow. Have you thought about this? No, I just pitched it. Just That's now. a great pitch. I would, Are you I, lying? No, I'd watch that movie. I think it'd be a funny movie. Be I really, really do think movie. that would be a funny movie. So, so, somebody on you the- and I in a survival on an island, mm-hmm. right? And we're fighting these like indigenous creatures, you know? And um, I think there could be a lot of funny comedy. Do you think that. you would, do you think you would, you think you would use your, your Asian-ness to like try to get on their side and then trick them? That could be too. Yeah, yeah. you slip in. You right. slip into one of their meetings. Right. You're like, look, I don't like that fucking ginger fuck. I'm or, trying to kill him too. Right. Maybe these 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 are people that transform into like some sort of animalistic beast. Oh, so and I like, put like hair on my face oh. and I pretend I'm like them too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Just to trick what them. What makes them change? What's the thing that makes them change? Out of anger or just it's their starvation. It's got to be a thing. Something. A thing. Something. something. Yeah, I, I didn't really think of too much about it. But if you're listening to me right now, write that script. Write that script for yeah. us. Because that's a really good script. People yeah. wanted us in a haunted... People said, the comedy store is haunted. Do something in the haunted comedy store. I don't, I don't know if I want to do a movie I had that has anything to do with comedy. Well, no, they just said it's haunted. So yeah, I don't want to do any stand-up. Like, I don't no, want no, no, to get away from the store. They're saying, imagine the store is over. The night is over. We're out there just hanging out. And then everything fuck starts to fucking happen. Things start to go negative. Right. Like, we can't get out of the main room. Yes, we can't get. We're stuck in the main room, green room. Right, green room, and then um, and Leslie there's jo- portals. Leslie Jones is in there, and yeah. the lights and the lights keep going on and off, and she's just ra- intermittently raping us, and we have to get out. It's a sketch. That happened though. That what? used to happen all the time. What I got re- Leslie raped me half a dozen times. Leslie Jones did half a dozen times. She never raped me. Well, it wasn't. Ra- I mean, I was in. I was having a good time. I loved it, but it was. I I always thought that it was. That, se- it was I, sec- I honestly, I, I I've always wanted to do. A thirty-minute sex scene with me and Leslie Jones <laughs> in a movie. Thirty minutes, like where we're fucking on the roof, right? And then like you cut to, and we're like in a park somewhere. You want to do a thirty-minute sex scene with Leslie? I think it'd be so funny. Yeah, but I don't think you need thirty minutes. That's a long time. Whatever, ten minutes then. How long does sex take for you in real life? 
Um, probably a minute, a minute, two. Be honest. Don't make a joke. Two, three minutes. That's it? Well, I mean, I can hold out if I think of things. What are you thinking about? What would you think of? I think of my mom and dad first. So to make, make sure you don't come, you go mom and dad, mom and dad, mom and dad. I don't think of they just not their just faces, but like a scene of what they did. Like, like yelling at you when you were like a kid? Like one time I was at, I, I, um, you know, in um, Painted Rock Elementary School, that's where I went. Uh-huh. Um, the doors, right? All the doors, it, it, it swung open out because it's an outside school. It's not an indoor school. Right. It's in San Diego, right? Yeah. So when you open up the door, there's like a yellow line to show you how far the, so that you don't get hit by the door. Right, to show you the, the line. Right, the, the line. where. The, but I sat in that little, within that thing. And the teacher said, the teacher said, get away from the yellow thing. And I go, no. Because I don't like when people talk to me. Tell Somebody me what get that do. yellow thing away from the yellow thing. Right now. <laughs> yeah. And I go, no. And he goes, I'll count to three. Right? Ooh. So he goes, he goes, three, two. And I go, one. Next thing I know, I'm in the principal's office. And I look out the window. And my mom's out there. And my mom, when she gets mad, she bites the inner of her lip. Oh. Right? And she was so mad when she opened her mouth, it was all bloody. Right? Oh, and my mom used to hit me backhanded, open fist, but like repeatedly if I did like rebellious shit like right that. Right in the face? Right in the face, yeah. Wow. And uh, I remember that. So I think of that moment. That helps you not come for sure. No, but I still cut hard. What? Yeah, so I had to go further. <laughs> Yeah, I still get hard. What's below that? What goes deeper than that? That that's painful. Well, then I get then I think of like when my dad, when my dad. Now he didn't do it to me, but I was there. Mm. I was sitting next to him, and um, we had this family reunion where my dad's aunt was drunk, and there's probably like forty people on this dinner table, and my aunt said to my dad in Korean, "I don't know why you married her. She's ugly." About my mom. In front of her. Yeah. Holy shit. My dad picks up a kitchen knife and lunges across the table and nicks my aunt in the neck, right? And then chaos ensues. Yeah. I remember like food flying on my face. How old were you? Uh, eight or nine. Wow. I try to think of that, but I still get hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You still get hard? I still sometimes get hard. You go that deep in your mind. And yeah, so then I have to go further. And then what really does it is like, if I think of like um, um, Harlequin Ichiosis or something, you know what that is? No, but it sounds fucked up. If I think of a baby that has Harlequin Ichiosis. Is that a disease? Yeah, um, then I, I can un get What is up. that? I'll show you a photo. Harlequin ich Ichiosis? You don't know what Harlequin Ichiosis is? I don't know what that is. I've never it's heard a, that. It's a skin before. disease that babies are born with. Like progeria? I know what progeria is. Progeria is it's not as bad as Harlequin. Really? Yeah, I'll progeria show you Harlequin. Progeria kills people like right away, right? What? People die super young from that. There it is, Harlequin ichiosis. Harlequin ichiosis. Yeah, so when Harlequin ichiosis babies are born, they look like this. That's not a real baby. Yes, it is. That's not a real baby. That's a real baby. Give it to me. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> and if, if I think of Harlequin ichiosis, then I... I start getting soft. That's down the there. saddest fucked up thing I've ever seen in my life. But That's they, the saddest they, they, but they grow up seen. like that way. I've never seen that in my life. They grow up they that can way. Zoom in on how fucked up that. Hold on. Well, hold they can it, Google hold it, it too. For a second so they, they can, can also Google, it. Google it. I know, but I know. Oh but then when they get older, right? It, they look like this. <sighs> She's fine. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god! Now try getting hard right now. Try getting hard right now. I, I, yeah, I know. Oh my god! I know, it's crazy. That's crazy. It's crazy, yeah. Bobby. I know. How do you know what that is? I've never even heard of that in my fucking you life. You don't know what Harlequin Ichiosis is? I know all the diseases. You love saying it. Harlequin <laughs> Ichiosis. <laughs> Sounds like a dish from a restaurant. Why do you have to do an accent? A special today is uh, Harlequin Ichiosis <laughs> no, no, here. No 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 no, <laughs> no, 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 Yeah, that's a, that's a real disease, dude. That's it's so fucking sad. Crazy, I'm not right? making fun of the disease. It's, yeah. That's insane. I've never heard of that in my fucking life. Yeah, I like watching like, I, and, and, and I don't, my girlfriend says it's tragedy porn or whatever, but that's, I like... I like watching like um, babies when they were not born with, born with weird diseases and stuff. Why would you like that? Why would you? Want I don't to like see it. That? I just I'm just curious. I like to feel empathy and sadness. I always go oh like that. Yeah, but you could do that if you walked in the street and see a homeless guy. You need to like look. No, up that on doesn't the do it. That doesn't. No, because when I see a homeless guy, I'm like, P U P U. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So you watch a lot of that shit. That makes you feel better. It doesn't make me feel better. It just. Like, do you know what my 400 pound, 600 pound life is? Have you ever seen that show? I, I asked Kalila, and that's a thing. We make love 
with that show playing in a loop. Shut up. I we love fucking That's with that show background? on. Oh yeah. That show that show is like minor league, bro. But it makes me so sad. No. That makes me so sad. They did that to themselves. Yeah, dude, but there's so many underlying issues. Like when this Harlequin baby is born, yeah, that, uh, there's right no there. choice there. Helpless. That's helpless. Yeah, right. when they're like 700 pounds. You're right. You did that. Okay, so so who do you so you don't feel bad for people that they put themselves in those positions? You only feel bad if it's it's if they can't help it. Well, I understand that it's a disease, and totally. I understand that there's trauma or whatever that you know. Yeah, you're an addict. Yeah, know. I'm an addict, right? But um, I've also. In sober 17 years, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm not cured by, by all means. I could go out at any moment. Mm. But, you know, for me, when my life got bad, I looked at my whole life and I saw that, oh, in a couple of years, I could die. Yeah. It's devastating. So if I change my behavior now, it's going to maybe give me some hope. So I stopped. Yeah, but, but you're lucky you had that perspective. Yeah, yeah, sure. You're lucky. I think you're lucky that you had that perspective. I think so many people want to feel that way and they just never get there. There's a lot of people that have addictions that just can't get there. Yeah, they can't be honest with themselves. Yeah, but you hit your bottom. Some people never hit the bottom. Yeah, but your bottom isn't, um, it's, it's different for everybody. What if, what if some people just stay drifting just right in the middle of the I have the a friend, I know I'll say his name, I will so badly want say it to. Right now. I can't do say it. Say it right now. I have a friend named Callisto. Callisto? Yeah. Yeah. What is he? This sounds like a conquistador. And he lives in Silver Lake. Conquisto. He's a cute stole. guy, yeah. talented guy, but, you know, he just could never own up to his alcoholism. Yeah. And he still drinks now? I think so, yeah. You just don't talk anymore? I don't talk to him anymore, no. How many people do you think are alcoholics that don't admit it? How, what percentage? What, at the comedy store? Comics, yeah. Oh, I know so many. But how many don't, like, yeah, how many that don't admit it? F- top of the head, I know one right now that is doing okay. Who is it? I can't say his name. Is it me? There's no way. No, I don't think you're an alcoholic. I wouldn't no. be doing this with you. I just like drinking. You do it as a jo- come on a bit. I like drinking. Yeah, but I don't ever see you drinking. I drink. Yeah, but there's no reputation that you're oh, Santino saying, got drunk. drunk. Yes, yes, yes. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? He, he, you couldn't. You know, he did this or yeah, that. He couldn't get it together. Yeah, there's. N- but there's some people that you know that just are so that are functioning. There are guys that are like so obviously an alcoholic. Well, Ron, that still gets spots at the Ron White store. fucking parties hard. Okay, that's one maybe. Yeah, he parties hard. But there's even younger ones that are like that, and I can't say any names. But well, you don't have to say names. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, sure. Do sure. you? I do. I'm not going to put anybody under the bus. I understand, but you do. Yes, I know who you're talking about. Is he white? Aren't they all? Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> Is he young? I, my, how about this? How about this? My he, age. Is he West Coast or East Coast? East Coast. That's right. That, we know the same guy. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 <laughs> That's so gross. So close. That's so fucked up. Yeah. Why are we, that's New so York? New York? New York. New York or no? New York. No. 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 Not no. New York. Above it, right? Yeah. Ab- <laughs> <laughs> oh, right? That's, so it. that's it. That's it. That's all we can go. That's how far we that's can go. That's how far we can go. Connecticut? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby? Yeah, we have to cut that part out Bobby? of it. Bobby? Yeah. I'm blushing now. That was funny, though. I'm, blu- I'm blushing. I'm too. blushing too. It's funny. We're both blushing. We're both blushing. I don't think I've, I've ever blushed with I've you. I've never blushed with you. Hey, you, yeah. know what I, you know what I made people do? I what? think you saw it. I made people call the hotline and leave us a voicemail. Yeah. We can't play it because it's lot, not loud enough. People are going to be pissed off. Yeah. The, vo- the, the voicemail fucked up, but I wanted people to do this thing called rate my voice uh-huh. so we could listen to these. But listen, this is the problem. Yeah. I got all these voicemails. Yeah. And they're way too quiet because the recording thing fucked up. Okay. So let's try one. See if you can hear this. Okay. 714, that's your area code, right? No. Isn't that Orange County? Is 213. Oh, hold on here. Let's see. What's up, Flint King, Cheeto Santino, Joe from Long Beach? I can't hear it. He said, what's up, Slap King, what's up, Cheeto Santino? The Nintendo bit last time was the best. He had a very, like, lo- he had a very fucking uh-huh. Long Beach talk. This sucks that we can't play these. I'm going yeah, to yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I, have to get I, him can to do I, it can again. I, can I say something right now? Yeah. Um, why you should have just worked on it and then presented it. I sh- I, but for, by you doing it this way, yeah. it's unprofessional. I'm showing my flaws. Yeah. it's it's. But I'm be- being transparent with you that I'm f- it's flawed. I just want to show you it wasn't going to work, so I'm not going to do it anymore. Am- it's amateur hour. Though. Oh, is this amateur hour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, this is amateur hour? I mean, you should have something like a program that's like working. I, w- we were tr- I was trying to get it done. But if it's not working, then just don't bring it up until the next time. I wanted time. to bring it up. 
That's all good. It's unprofessional. I'm going to put out my flaws. I'm going to put them out there. Yeah. So you're sitting at your house. It's the middle of the day. And you're like, I'm starving. I want a burrito and some whiskey. Good choice. Good choice. That's a great lunch choice. Burrito and whiskey go well together. So you're like, how do I get these things? Well, do I get in my car? Do I go see people? Do I go be bothered all day long? No. Stay at home. Chill out. Don't move. Download the Postmates app if you don't already have it, which you should. But if you don't, it's kind of a good thing because right now, if you go download Postmates for the first seven days, the first week, they're going to give you $100 credit. $100. 100 smackaroons is going to go to you if you download Postmates and use the code SIPPING, S-I-P-P-I-N-G, SIPPING. Get your whiskey and burrito on. Anything you can think of, Postmates will deliver. So download the Postmates app right now. In the first seven days, they'll give you $100 credit on Postmates, baby. Use the code SIPPING. Why didn't you go on that audition the other day? You want to talk about that? Yeah. Because... Okay, I want to say something. Go ahead and say it. Bobby and I, we're going to go out for the same role. Yeah. No, so they really know what the fuck they were looking for. Right. When so, you and I are auditioning for the same... It's like when me and Ian Edwards used to be in the same room. Yeah. And I'd go... Wah. A skinny black vegan? I'm I, a six one redheaded guy. What, you, what could we have? In I, I get. I, I I feel good when I'm doing it against with you. You Why? should see what I normally get. Who do you go up against? I go against freaks. <laughs> <laughs> like a 500 pound Nigerian guy. That you, but that's the same thing. Yeah, to a me. blind Puerto Rican. Like I get like not other other. You so get, I'm in a room with like all these freaks. So and I'm like, am I a good. freak? You're not a, well, yeah. no, you're not a freak. Yeah. They just know you're good enough at comedy. You could play a freak. I don't know. Maybe I'm funny looking, but um, this audition was, I just ate it so bad. Yeah, I know. You told me how it bad you It shocked bombed. me. Well, but I don't think you ever bomb. I think people know, people don't know, but you do that all the time, that you'll say something's way worse than it is, even though it's not that fucking bad. You do oh, that this constantly. Bad. Oh, this is bad. I'm sure it wasn't. Not as bad as you make it out to be. I'm sure it was fine. You've made it this far in your professional career. I'm sure you've never done that bad. Oh my God, you have no idea what you're talking about, but thank you. I'm sure, I'm, I, I, like I just can't imagine. But I, Bobby said, why didn't you offer the role? Yeah, so you, I know that you got an audition too, so why didn't you do it? Why? Because I didn't, okay. Do you want me to talk shit about yeah. it? Yeah. It, uh, don't, name, don't name who's in it, but you know. Well, that's part of it. That's why I didn't want to go out of it. Okay, I, I didn't say it, go say out. it. <laughs> Listen, it was a role yeah. For a computer nerd, uh -huh. tech nerd, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I automatically was like, I, I've never gotten these. I've tried to go out for them in the past. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I've, and I, every time, they're like, very funny. They def, You look nothing like what they're looking for. Yeah, that's what they say? Every time. Yeah. They go, he doesn't look like the guy that they want. Yeah. But he did very well. Because I'm funny in the room. That doesn't matter. I, this, I'm not, it's not going to work. I'm not going to be that guy, that computer nerd. It's just not going to happen. They can, you can try. It's not going to happen. Okay? So I read the thing. I read the lines. I, I didn't see any part that I could have been funny in. Yeah. Okay. At all. Yeah. And then I thought, well, who's in the movie? <laughs> who's in it? <laughs> I'm not talking shit. Yeah. But I'm thinking maybe it's littered with comedians and I'll just try to go in and do it. But it was Dakota Johnson and Tracy Ellis Ross. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great future. No, no, no. They're Hollywood future. They're good. They're great actresses. Yeah. That's not Hollywood the point. Hollywood future. Yeah, yeah. That's not the point. Yeah. The point is, I thought if it was a comedy movie... I I would try harder. But these, yeah, but these comedy movies, right? Mm. Don't have funny people in them. I know, but that's what my point is. Like, I don't want to be in a not funny movie and also I, not I understand be funny. that, but I understand that. It I don't does, want to be in a not funny matter. movie where I'm not funny. That's double negative it, to me. But t the thing is, is Which that is positive. I should have done it. But here's the trick of it all. Mm. The trick of it all is, is that like, but that's but when you do a a comedy movie with all these unfunny people, I, I'm not saying you're unfunny. You, I'm just saying it doesn't read funny. It's not funny. Okay, it's not funny. Right? It's but funny. you, I know I'm funny. Mm -hmm. So maybe I could steal the scene or whatever. No. Because the movie's not about, you have nothing to do in that. Movie. I know. There's, there's no, no business there's for no you way. in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my point. Tracy Ellis Ross and Dakota Johnson. I love them. Yeah. I'm big fans. Look, yeah. they're, they're, they're great. I was just reading it like, what am I going to do with them? It's going to be about them. Yeah. And I'm going to be a computer nerd who's like, the files are uploading right now. And they're like, well, get it to us because we need to leave for the event. And I'm like, I'm trying. I don't want to do that. <laughs> That was really good. I don't need that. I, it's just, what yeah, does that do yeah. for me? Yeah, yeah. It, it, you know what it does? Because I've done things before in my past that yeah. have made me feel bad about myself. Then you go, man, I feel kind of shitty. I feel shitty because I'm not. I wasn't good. It was. I wasn't funny. Yeah. I look like a loser. I may have done a bad job. Yeah. Just avoid it. What I don't get is like, I, I when they get you want to read this, I go, I don't want to go in there though. 
Yeah. Why don't so they, they just, go? They go. They go. I go. Can I just put myself on tape? What's the difference? There is no difference. I know, but the thing is, is because they, when you show up there, you're on tape. Mm-hmm. I'd rather just do it in my environment. And this is a new thing that I do. I go. I'll do a tape, and they still want me to come in. I'll come in then. That's smart. Because at that point, then they saw what you're doing. Right. They kind of like ballpark. Maybe they can give you some notes, but I'm not going to go in there cold. Well, yeah, it's also like you know, the, the irony is here you go. This is super meta for people that some people have checked out. But I mean, like, no, I, I think people are interested. No, in they this. are in the, in the audition world. I just think something that needs to be known is here's what's crazy. When you book a fucking role, you get to try it in front of a camera, in front of a crew a thousand times until you get it. right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you go to an audition, you do it one time. How is that a measurement of what's going to happen? During exactly. The day? And it's also yeah, I'm glad we're talking about this because, yeah. you know. I'm on Splitting Up Together. It's probably going to get... I don't know what's no, going to happen. No, it's a great show on ABC and you should really watch it. I love it. it. Splitting Up Together yeah. is a good show. <laughs> don't do that. I, know, I love it. It's a good show. I love it. It's a good show. And it's a great show. It's a great show. I love it. But with Splitting Up, they just called me and they said, you want to do it? Mm-hmm. And I go, oh, you, you know what I do. They know what you do. And then I go up and then a director will go, less on that. We like this. And then just quicken it up. Perfect. Then you go, okay, I'll do it. Right. You do it, they go, okay, we're moving on. You, you know what it's like? What? You know what I compare it to? What? Imagine a pro athlete gets traded to another team. Yeah. They don't make them try out again. Right. Those are pro athletes. If I get traded from the That's fucking interesting Lakers that you say to the that. Knicks, it's not like you go to the Knicks and they go, how you doing, man? Welcome. You're like, good. I feel good. And they're like, <clears throat> you do some layup drills real quick before we um, give you the contract. Wait, no, I, but, I, but I was a pro over there. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. just don't think you're still a pro though. <laughs> You yeah. think I lost the that skill? That is like that. That is like that. It's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. You don't lose the fucking skill from one job to the other. Yeah. And, th- and then, listen, the only way that I think it's applicable if you're like, if you're, uh, uh, um, what's his name to play Lincoln? Daniel Day-Lewis. It's like, if you are so unbelievably in-depth and do these character role movies, I get that they need to see you change shape. Yeah, yeah. But if they're wanting Bobby Lee to be the best version of Bobby Lee in this character, yeah. you know how I do that. Yeah. You know, you've seen you do that. And also, I could just send them like, a three minute clip of all the movies and TV shows I've done. Yep. And just, just that's enough. There you go. Because I'm going to do basically, you know, a version, a version of whatever these are. Right. Right. So that's why I don't know. So, so, so my beef with going out for things that mm. A, I know I don't belong in. Yeah. And, and by the way, your intuition is always right. When, when I go, when I go, mm, this will be bad, but I'll go anyway. And then I'll go, I always eat the shit. I'm always like, fuck that. Every time I've gone, I like this. I could, this could be something I could get. Yeah. I've either gotten it or it's come close. My, wow. my intuition has almost never failed me. Wow. I have never, ever. But don't get so emotional right I've now. You're getting so angry. I've never gone out for something. I've never gone out for something. I don't even care, dude. Yeah, yeah. You're getting I, so, I'm getting emotional. I love it. I've, I've never gone out for something. Yeah. And thought, I'm never going to get this. And then I got it. It's never happened. Yeah. Not once. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Look at that. Where's the set guy? It's great. I did that with one hand. Yeah, I, I, bras I feel like you have hand. a lot of, um, you know, you build these resentments up. No, no, I don't have resentments. I just think I have a lot of resentments. I don't resent. You, you, I don't resent you do have anger issues though. Yeah. Why? You want to know? I, know can, can, I want to, can, can I, I'll tell you what I see. Okay. Tell me. I'll tell you what I see. Bobby Lee th- wants to be and I, my And my therapist. honest opinion about you, yeah. I have a variety of feelings. Okay. Right? Most of them positive, some negative. <laughs> okay? I feel like you have underneath the layer of goodness, there's, you mean, a, a hint of racism. Uh-huh. Right? It's bigger than a hint. <laughs> right? <laughs> and like you had been in a war or something. You think it might be And somebody that looked like me wiped out your whole platoon. Probably. Yeah, but that's what how you treat me. Like you want to try to like me, but there's like you know what I mean you you just killed. Because when I look deep into your eyes, yeah, I see the kamikaze pilot in you. I see the crazy kamikaze pilot in you. Do you know Bro, they used to say that I, they they were they were they were coming so fast and so quick to the boats at Pearl Harbor? We they could see their eyes right before they hit the boat. Yeah, see, because, I can see that when I look in your eyes. But there was two people, right? Yeah, they could see, they could see the first fucking pilot. No, but there was two Japanese dudes, yeah. kamikaze pilots, yeah. that bailed. Only two. And they did the injector thing. What do you and mean? They got popped out of the plane. And they lived? They lived, but then the Japanese government killed them. knew that they bailed mm. and they killed them. They should have come to the United States and... and, and, and uh, that's what I would have done. Yeah. Yeah. And I just made that story up. <laughs> you piece of <laughs> shit. So, I bought that so I know. And that it feels was good. really good. Feel good. It feels good to lie. 
That was really Thank good. Thank you so much. That was really good. I know, I lie. You I do. lie all the time. Well, you told us in the poker game, in the ATC poker game, yeah, how yeah. much you lie. I lie all the time. Yeah. What in your stand-up have you lied about for years that you finally want to tell is the truth? What's the real truth in some of your bits? You, I know you do a bit that's a complete lie. Tell me which one it is. There's a bit that you they're totally all based on. They're all based on some sort of truth. Yeah, but you made one up so bad. You know what it is. Go ahead and say it. You know what, what I'm talking about? I know about? which one it is. I don't want to say it. Go ahead and say it. I'm not ready to say it. I think you should say it right now. I think it's the perfect time. Say it. What's the difference? What is it? Say it because... It, you say it are because you I don't it, think you know what it are is. Are you going to put on a special? What? Are you going to put it on a comedy special? Yes. You're not. I know you're not. I am. You're not. You're too precious. You're too precious. You're precious. You're beautiful. I don't. I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Don't, don't, give me the. Give me you know hint. what bit I'm talking about. <laughs> I know what you're trying to do. You know. I, what I don't know. Here's about. what it is. I know what you're trying to do. I know exactly what you're trying to do, and it's really good psychology. You don't know. Yes, I do. But you're pushing me so that I go, "Oh yeah, it's this one." Mm. And when I say it, you're gonna think. You're gonna go, "Yeah, I told you." I'll give you a hint. Yeah. It involves a neighbor. You do know. Mm-hmm. I don't want to talk about it right now. Come on, please. Tell my fans, tell your fans and my fans. You sit back and pull the mic in and get comfortable. Yeah. And I want you to say it. Okay, so um um but I want to defend it. Go ahead. Can I defend it first? Sure. Okay, so I use the molestation. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, all right. So <laughs> right. Okay, so I've talked to my brother about it. Yeah. Okay. So I say in my act that I was molested by a guy with Down syndrome. Say what you say in the act. I say in the act that... Um, you, in your father's voice. In my father's voice. You, you know what I mean? say Bobby was molested by a guy with Down syndrome. retarded boy. Yeah, yeah. By a not guy with Down syndrome. A retarded syndrome. boy. A retarded guy, right. Right. Um, and he tells... In my act, he tells like if I introduce him to like just a friend of mine, like a girlfriend from school, that's the thing he opens with. Right. Right. But I talked to my brother, and my brother remembers the guy. So there, the guy did exist. Yeah, that he's real. He is real. And um, I've gotten the details about like, so I say I went there every sum- day, three summers in a row. Right. That's a lie. Why are you smiling? I just I'm I'm into it. I think it's funny. Right. And then um, I sometimes I've said that he sticks his fingers inside me. And that's not true. It's not true. I don't think. But he did exist. There was fun dip. There was fun dip, right? And I think I did jerk him off. You did. Yeah. So there is like exaggerations around the lie, mm-hmm. but the, he does exist. Did you? Did, was it to completion? I don't think so. No. Because you can't when you're. I don't think I, I could complete. In fact, when I completed the first time was I remember where I, where I was. Where? In my um, guest bathroom at my house in Rancho Bernardo. It felt so good. I couldn't believe it. it and a little remarkable. Visine drop came out. And I remember getting an orgasm and go, oh, like, like making a noise. And that, and that to you was like, that was the beginning of the end. You were going to do that for the rest of your life every single day. Yeah, because it, it, it's one of those like, you don't, as a kid, you don't know what, or what an orgasm is. or no, what it, it scared me so the when first you, time. Yeah, when you discover it, yeah. you go, oh, this is a reason to live. I can do this all the time. Yeah. I wonder if I run out of these. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Thoughts. You know, let me get, I think I've told this before, but Pap, you know, Pap, you know, Pavlov is the Pavlov effect. You know, the dog, it, yeah, and yeah, you yeah, ring yeah, a bell yeah. and it gets yeah, out. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. At the time, Beverly Hills Cop was a very popular movie. Probably my favorite movie. I love that movie. Glenn Frey has the song in there. The heat is on. Yeah, yeah. It's on the street. Yeah, yeah. The heat is on. <laughs> when I would come, that song you know who steals that movie? Head. Huh? It was Pavlovian. Like I would, that song for some reason was stuck in my head. So when I would shoot a nut, I would hear the heat is on. I would hear the song. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I swear to God in my life. So yeah, when the yeah. movie would, when the movie would come on and yeah, I'd watch it, yeah. I'd hear that song. Yeah. I would get a hard eye. <laughs> really? My dick was like, it's oh, wow. time. It's wow, time. I've never had, I don't have a song that does that. The heat is on. I mean, sometimes like once in a great while when I come now, yeah, yeah. it pops in my head. It gives me a little chuckle right after I come. Oh, <laughs> it's like a little, really? I, I just go. <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know who steals that movie though? Who? Bronson, Belky? Pr- Bronson, Bronson Pinchot is by far the best. Yeah, he, he kills owns it in the art movie. dealership, right? Yeah, he kills He's it in so the movie. He's so good in yeah. that fucking movie. Yeah. Why was he so good in that? That's so funny because it's stuck. I said that. Belky. Yeah, Bronson. Belky. Yeah, Bronson. Yeah. He does uh, a funny kind of gay 
but he's not gay. That's he's not gay. Funny, yeah. Right? But he does a, like a feminine kind of quirky with an accent, like yeah, an uh, Eastern European. And he calls, and, and, and for younger people, uh, it's Beverly Hills Cop's one of the greatest fucking movies of all time. And Eddie Murphy plays uh, a police officer called Axel Foley, which is the cool, I remember how cool that name was. And he couldn't say it. Bronson would call him Achmel, Achmel Foley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Achmel Foley, Axel. Yeah, but Axel, he, that Achmel. actor though, he, you've seen what happened to him. Bronson later. Pinchot? Yeah, in life. No, I don't know what's up. Yeah, he's like, he lives in like the East Coast and like, a small town and apparently he is like a crazy recluse kind of a guy really like he let yeah, he burned go? bridges yeah he burned a lot of bridges in hollywood and really? yeah a lot of these guys they didn't know that you know you have to realize that it's cyclical right you can have like the 80s right you're killing it in the 80s i mean right? he was fucking you for people killing know, it people don't know yeah he was on a tv show that was one of my favorite shows called the perfect strangers it yeah was great incredible. show great so show he was good. great in it right so you know he was killing in the 80s and in the 90s it dries up like it mm, does. A little bit, And yeah. you kind of have to kind of like, look at Piven. Now, I know Piven has a lot of weird th things, right? Mm. But Piven is doing stand-up. Yeah. And he's trying to figure out in this n n new Me Too movement how to survive. I know, but don't you think that's weird? He got Me Tooed and, he, and his show got canceled, right? That's what happened. He was on a popular show. He got me too. Alleged, he got allegedly. Yeah. And then his show got canceled. Yeah. Right. I'm just saying. I'm saying it's weird. It is weird. It's funny because. Do you, are you friends with him? No. I mean, we're, I'm not not friends. We're cool. We're yeah, friends. I, I mean, I don't know him. I don't know him. Listen, listen. Uh, you know, you know, people, you can, I'm, I've heard women, they have a story about him. I've heard uh, yeah. friends of mine that have had, have had stories. Okay. And they're terrible. About, Ter about him. Yeah. I don't know him. Okay. But sometimes you have to go, like Louis C.K., right? Louis C.K. is nice to me. He's nice to you. Yeah, and Jeremy Piven has always been nice to me. Yeah. And it's like, I know that there's some weird things that are attached to who they are. Allegedly. That are allegedly, and there could be some things that are like unforgivable. Sure. But there is also the fact that they were nice to me. Yes. Or are nice to me. That's fine. But it's so weird to live in a world, you know what I mean, where I understand, you know, is that wrong though for me to go, yeah, he's nice to me, say that. Is that weird to say that? No. Look, it's, maybe it's a little ironic, those two names you brought up, that Jeremy got me too and got into stand-up. Louis got me too and got, had to get out of stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> he got kicked yeah. out of stand-up. Yeah, it's weird. But, 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 but look... You were friends with those people before you knew they did those things. Or I'm even, not even friends with Louis C.K. Okay, you were I, cool. You knew these people, and you didn't. You might have not known what's going on behind the scenes. So it's it's weird when something happens and you go, "Shit, I guess what do I? Am I not nice to them anymore now? Because they've always been nice to me. I just didn't know that that was a part of their life. Yeah. So, so what do you do? Do you change? You stop talking to those people? Like I, I, if, if it, Louis saw you, if Louis, hey, if we run into Louis, yeah, and he's he like, doesn't even know my name. I'm just saying. I know he'll go, hey, Asian guy. I know. No, you. no, no. He, 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 all I know is. I've brought him up on stage a couple of times. Same. And he shakes your hand, looks at him, and he goes, what's up, man? And like, he's kind he's of just a nice, nice guy, you. right? Sure. You know, Chris Rock is like that. No, no, not that, not, not, not that Chris Rock has a lot of anything attached to him. No, I'm just saying, saying he's that. He's just a nice guy. He's a nice guy. And I, you know, and I, um, and Piven's been nice. I've, I've called him. We've talked. Sure. And, um, like, if I, if there was tomorrow, it broke, right, that I um, killed three people. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. Would you what would you say about me? I'd say what I'd say give me the story. What happened? Did the people like uh, I th I think oh, I, oh, I, there was three white kids and uh -huh. you know they were in a minivan. Yeah. And the mom went in to Ralph's yeah. to get asparagus. Mhm. Uh -huh. And I took the minivan and I drove it off a cliff. Wow. And then I swam out and they all drowned. Okay. What would you say? If the if reporter's like, Miss Santino, do you have any comments? Yeah. I go, what did those kids say? What did they say to piss off Bobby? I would say, well, Bobby obviously had a reason for doing that. And that's, uh, that's why I'm I, here. I would say, what, would the, what did those kids say? And that's say? why I'm here. And I'd say, is Bobby okay? They go, the kids are dead. I go, is Bobby okay? That's why I'm here. They go, is... I, well, bro? Yeah? I defend you. I, I'm about to cry right now. I would defend the shit out of you. I'm, and, about, I'm about to cry right now. Dude. And you know what? You'd give me a call and you'd go, Santino, I killed those fucking kids. And I'm on the run. And I said, listen, I've got a guy named Mark. He's got some money for you. Get out of town. Honestly. I have a guy no, named be, Mark. I'll be honest. Honestly, yeah. would you, if I went to your house, mm -hmm. 
knocked on your door and I'm running from the law and I go, hey, can you give me some clothes? Yeah. And then can I have a grand? Yeah. <laughs> I give you a grand right now. No, I know. Would you give me a grand? 100%. Yeah. I wouldn't even think, I wouldn't, I literally wouldn't think twice. If you knocked on my door yeah. and said, Santino, I'm in trouble. If yeah, you said, if you said, can I harbor you? If you said, if you said, Santino, can you harbor me at your house? I would go, absolutely. Come on, come, come inside. We'll hide you in the, in the there's no way you would do that. Why? I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to put you in that position. I'm telling you what I would do. I'm, I, I, I'm, yeah, I wouldn't do that for but, you. But, but you know, what I, I wouldn't do that for you. You wouldn't harbor me. I would give you clothes. Yeah. Right. I would drop you off somewhere that's, and I would give you a grand. See, that's even dumber dropping me off. Then you're in the car with me. Now you're the guy that was with OJ. Now yeah, you're, but I, 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 cause all I can say, I didn't know he, he came over, he says his car broke down. He's panicked. He was panicking. I don't know that he See, did anything. I just like the excitement. I'd want you at the house because I think it'd be cute and sneaky to always be hiding you. Every day I'd play a game with you. I'd be like, we got to hide, hide you somewhere else. I think it'd be so fun. Right. It's like hide and seek and they're, not get, they're never going to seek. Yeah. It's just always, I get to hide Bobby every day. So it doesn't matter what my crime is then? Not really. No, be real. No, because I love you. Oh my God. That's, I don't, I don't think. Dude, I, you would have to do something so fucking insane. That's what I'm saying. What is it? What would be the thing? Yeah, like Je if you Jeffrey Dahmer, like if you fucking like raped and ate people, then I'd be like, Bobby, <laughs> come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did you do that? I'm hungry. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it would have to be so fucking yeah, bad. Yeah, it would be weird. It would, it would have to be so fucking bad for yeah. me to disown. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know why? Because everybody's fucked up and everyone's flawed. Yeah. Uh, you it's ha funny. You have friends. You have, we and I, you and I both have friends. Yeah. That do some fucked up shit that we either know or don't know and i get and i tell you something if you found out if you found out what some of the people did that we know yeah the mean things or the awful things they do oh i know some shit well you'd go i know some shit you know some fucked up shit of some people yeah they do some fucked up shit yeah are you still cool with them yeah so that's my point okay but um if you're on the run i want to play this game with you i'm at your door right now what co no what comics wouldn't help you and when he throw you some names, you say yes or no. Okay. And be real. What was my crime? You you killed. Um, I killed. I killed a guy. You killed three kids. Oh shit! You ran them over. Oh shit! Okay. Outside of a school. Yeah. Oh my god! But I just kept going. Yeah. Was I drinking? Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Th you're and then now it's three in the morning. Mm -hmm. You know I mean you're running around town. <sighs> panicked. Panicked, right? Yeah. And then so I'm gonna tell you what what comics. Okay. And it's and the and the and the thing is a grand clothing like we said yeah right yes and um that's it a grand in a clothing G grand and in they clothing. say good luck and good luck okay. all right Dalia um no yeah no no way he wouldn't no never he'd call the cops on me yes he'd invite me in <laughs> yes and he'd call the cops on me I'm being real fucked. yeah he would Theo Vaughn uh, no no absolutely not absolutely not absolutely not he wouldn't yeah. even open the door he go he would, listen he'd be he'd sleeping go, I'd go Theo Theo he go what's up man. <laughs> I'm on, I'm on the run from the law. I need a thousand dollars. Yeah, there's and, no way. No, man, that's, you're crazy. Dude. Yeah, yeah, Fuck there's him. no way. Yeah, no, nope, gone. Don't come here again. No, don't come here, yeah, dude. Yeah. You don't know me, dude. Um, Two guys, Brian go. Callen. Yes, he would. I know. He 100 percent would. Callen, I know you would. Callen would. Callen would give me money. He'd give me clothes, and yeah. not only that, yeah. he would find the best route to get to where I need to right. go. He'd go, come and let's map it out. Yeah, yeah. It would be. It would be a. Th it'd I be know a, a guy thing. that you you can you're gonna say yes, but I know it's a no. Who? Joe Rogan. Joe would say Joe would do it for me. For me, he would. That's a yes. I know it's a yes. Rogan will give you a grand. 100%. He would not give me a grand. He would give me... You, he probably would not. No. Because he would think that you're up to no good again. Right. Yeah, he would go... Right! He'd go, Bobby. Oh, my God. Oh, my go, God. Oh, my God. what are you getting into now? Right. Yep. All right. Let's For me, he'd go, Santino's in trouble. Right. For Bobby, Joey Diaz. He, 100%. 100. He's a criminal. Yeah, but he's, a, he's such a loyal dude. I, uh, yeah, he's loyal. If you were honest with him. Yeah. The only way that someone like Joey... Or uh, Joey or or Rogan, right? If you were honest, yeah. If you said, "Look, dude, I, I fucking killed these kids and I'm on the run," and Joe and Diaz would be like, "Damn, cocksucker, that's crazy. I'll yeah. fucking help you." He would help you out. Yeah, he would. Because you were honest. If you were true to him, if true, you lied, yeah, 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 yeah. If you lied, you lied. If, if you lied, and then he helped you out, yeah. then he would come kill you. He would try to kill He'd you. He'd fucking kill you. Yeah, and he would also kind of already know about it. I think. Oh, he would know. Of yeah. course, he would know. He'd hear it in the fucking streets. Whitney Cummings. No. Never. No. No, because she knows I eat. I eat animals. Right. She put up a picture of her cute little pig yesterday on yeah, Instagram. Yeah. It, it took everything out of me to not write bacon. I wanted Seth to write Rogan. bacon. So Seth bad. Rogan. No. <laughs> no chance. He would. He'd go. What do you? Who? Give me some names though. Okay. Um. Uh, Jenna Fisher. No. No, she wouldn't. I don't think so. 
people who know that is this Pam from the office who is also the lead on yeah, another lead on yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I. She wouldn't help you out? Be, I'll tell you why, though. You've known her for how many years now? Two years. I'll tell you why, though. Yeah. Because she has kids mm. and married. She lives in Glen. She lives, you know, in L- outside of uh, somewhere in LA. Right. <laughs> Okay, she lives in Los yeah, Angeles. Yeah, She's Los married. Angeles. She has a family. There's no way. She has a family. There's no way. Really? Yeah. Give me another name. John Cho. That was good. That was a good one. That was but a no, really good one. But no. Really? Yeah. Why? I think the same thing. He has kids. Because at the family thing? Yeah. So what? I name people with family. Also, I don't know where he lives. That has nothing to do with this. You're, they, they, we're not getting that deep. Oh, we're not getting that deep? No, we're talking about just would they. He wouldn't do it. If you arrived at his He home. wouldn't do it. Wow. Yeah. Really? I don't think, dude, I mean, I could throw you, there's no way. I know, but you have, okay. I know. Okay, how about, how about, um, uh, how about Adam, who, I'm not going to say his last name, who runs the comedy store, the manager of the comedy store? Egot? Yeah. Why would you do that? Why would, no, why, why would you even hide it? I don't know if people need you to know that. It's all over the fucking internet. Okay, that's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> would Egot do it for you? Yeah. He would, huh? I think he would. Because Egot is, it, there are some shady things about him. Really? Yeah, I don't want to say it. I don't want. I don't want to get into his character defects or his things. But the guy has comic issues. Well, yeah, he runs a sexual, and he has sexual ones. What do you mean sexual? He has had he's had struggles with drugs and alcohol. Right. Yeah. Right. So I think that, and he knows that I'm sober. I think that that him and have a connection. I think he would give me a grand. Oh wow! But you would say not call in for a while. Okay. Yeah. I just mentioned Whitney. How about Whitney? Would she do it for you? No. No way, huh? I, w- I would never even go to her house and ask. Why? I just, I just, kn- I feel like it would always be able automatically. Here's be a really an, good a one for you. One. Yeah. Jordan Peele. Right now, Jordan Peele. Not Jordan Peele six years ago. Jordan Peele now, today. Because Jordan Peele six years ago was a lot different. I mean, in That's this a, Hollywood that, dude, that you just threw in. Mm-hmm. I Jordan would have Peele. to say yes. You think he would? Yeah. Today? Yeah, today. Married, family. Because I know his wife too. I know. In fact, when he was pursuing Chelsea, he'd call me and go, dude, I'm in love. Help me. You know, he would like give me those kind of texts. Yeah. He would. And also Jordan, I, I knew him but he's got a kid when he now. had nothing. I know, but they have, he has a kid and that, like he's trying to, he's got to protect Keegan, life. Keegan, no, for sure. Keegan, no? Zero. Why? I don't think he likes me now. Really? Yeah. I don't understand that. Because, you know, when we were on Mad TV, I would do things like, you know, he's a Christian, right? Well, yeah. Like a, like a, like devout, like hard, born like he, again, like, like goes to church every Sunday. He used to be like a preacher. Really? Yeah. Wow. And I used to grab his dick. Hmm. And he's gotten physical with me. Like, if you know, I struggle with the Lord. Why do you treat me like you know? Like I remember those. What is the struggle with the Lord have to do with you? Because I used to grab his at dick and ass. So what is the struggle? No, he's just saying I'm a Christian. Why do you treat me like like you know? You know that I don't like gay shit like that. But Christians do all sorts of gay shit all the time. I know, but you know, ugh. I know, but you're saying traditionally. I mean, I get, well, I'm saying traditionally too. Yeah, that's when they did all that fucked up shit. But Mad TV, Ike Bernholtz would. Ike's cool as shit, so he would do it for you, huh? Any what time is that? I have a show. Stop it. What time is it? He's okay. fine. I'm fine. What you got to leave in what? Fifteen minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifteen minutes. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Why? This game is so much fun to It me. is? Yeah. That's enough because I, th- I, I think don't people are going to listen. Anymore. Yeah, people are going to get upset. Tiff- you answer, Tiffany like- Haddish. No. No? She, Dude, would, when she, I- she would for me. She would? I know she would because I've known her for years. And- yeah, but I think that she has, because you know what I, she, you know how I met her, right? On blackpeoplemeet.com? No, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> when I first met Tiffany Haddish, yeah. I wanted to murder her. Why? So this is before Kalila, and I was on a date, okay? Who was the girl? I forgot even who the girl was. Awesome. Um, but I was on a date, and I'm holding hands with her, and I'm walking from the comedy store to the Laugh Factory. And I didn't even have a spot at the Laugh Factory. I just want to prove to this girl that I can go get in any comedy you club in shit. LA, right? Yeah. Trying to impress her. Mm-hmm. So as I'm approaching the Laugh Factory, Tiffany Haddish walks up and starts going, what's up, Ching Chong? And like doing like this Asian shit. But there was a behind, it was like a prank show she was doing. Oh, she was shooting a television show. Right, but I didn't know. Mm. You know, it's, just, it's like, I'm just going to the comedy store. Right. I mean, the Laugh Factory, I mean. Yeah. And she keeps in my face, I mean, going, ching chong, whatever, I forgot what the bit was. Ching chong was the bit, it sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
And then I kind of dragged the girl inside and I walked out and I yelled at her. Oh, you did? Because I didn't know who the fuck she was. Oh, you did? I never even met her before. Oh. I don't know who the fuck you are, right? But I, she's like, I'm just doing this, you know, prank show through BET or whatever. I don't know what it was. And I go, yeah, but I don't, I'm not in on it or anything. I don't know you. Yeah, that's weird. Right? Don't ever fucking do that. It's weird to bring someone in. And your so show. every day I would ever see her from then on, yeah. I, w- I treated her like shit. Whoa. And I'll t- I, and hats off to Tiffany Haddish because she would still say sorry every single time and 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 say shit like you know I fucked up I apologize but you know I like you so much that I'm going to fucking be so nice to you until you like me. And eventually it happened. It worked. One day years later though. So what? Like years later she I saw her at the comedy store and I just couldn't treat her like shit anymore. Mm-hmm. So I hugged her and we became friends. And then luckily, a, a couple of years after that, she blew up. But isn't that nice that you be, they buried all that bullshit? Yeah, but it was her. Because you do hold grudges. You say, I've got problems. Oh my you, God. I, you I, hold, I hold grudges, grudges worse than anybody forever. I've ever met in my life. Forever. At your birthday party, two years ago, two years ago, three years ago, at, at Park's Finest, Yeah, you were still holding a grudge against someone I'm not going to talk about, and it blew my mind. Who? I don't want to talk about it. I want, I want you to say it and then we'll cut it out. If you, do you cut this? We're not going to cut anything out. We're cutting none of this out. Okay, but who is it? All the fucked up shit that you said on this, we're leaving That's all fine. of it in. Who is it? Nobody likes going to the doctor. I hate going to the doctor. It's so annoying. It smells weird. There's always old people there. It's in uncomfortable buildings. There's terrible lighting. Forget about all that, man. 70% of dudes who have erectile dysfunction who just can't get it up as much as they used to are afraid to admit it and talk about it. And so they never go in. It never gets diagnosed. And they get worried and scared. And they can't get the diesel up anymore. Well, put that to bed, dude. Cut that out. Go to roman.com slash sipping, S-I-P-P-I-N-G, roman.com slash sipping, and go ahead and get a free online visit. You can talk to someone on there, talk about your problems, don't get nervous and weird. You're behind a computer, so just like when you chat in those chat rooms or make negative or positive comments, you're protected. It's all good. If you've got trouble down below, it's not working out that well, don't be nervous. You're not alone. Go ahead and go to roman.com slash sipping to get a free online consultation. Do it, man. I'm not going to talk about him because I know the guy. Oh, is it? Is he Asian? Yeah. Okay. That's all I need to know. Yeah. I know what you're saying. But you're, st- but like, that's my point is like, you still hold crazy grudges against people for years. It I was don't. your birthday. No, 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 here, here. It was your birthday. No, no, here, here, here. Okay. Dude, look at how Asian you're sitting right now. <laughs> you had a cigarette. Or if I had a sword back here, right? <laughs> that's what I, that's like, right? Yeah. But here's the deal, dude, okay, is I'm sorry, but these are facts, and it's really weird. I hate tooting my own horn. Toot it. I'm going to toot away, dude. Toot it, dude. Toot, toot, toot. I'm going to do it right now, okay? <laughs> is I probably have helped more comics at the comedy store than any other comic. Okay, true. I, no, it is, I, no, I don't I, believe I, I'm I, not just, I I'm used to, I used to, I got Shafir, all those guys, right, um, commercial agents. Did I help you? You helped me. Right. Uh, Theo Vaughn, Eric Griffin, they're with C-A-Y, me. You. Trevor Noah, he's with C-A-Y, me. You. Okay. And these are things, I don't like to say them, mm-hmm. but I want to, okay. So I, and, and, and I've helped a lot of other comics too that I want to name names, sure. right? That have betrayed me, mm-hmm. right? So when I go out of my way and I give you, I loan you some money or I get you an agent or I set up a mm-hmm. showcase and and, I don't, and you're nothing, right? These are people that at one point had nothing going on, right? Right. 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 And I go out of my way because I see talent and I want to help people, right? You fucking betray me one time, I hold a resentment. Forever. And is that a character defect? Big time. I that's, know. Yeah, but that's I need okay. Help. I need help. No, no, but that's okay. I need help, I think. That's okay because you don't have a lot of flaws. Oh, I have so many flaws. You have very, very average though. They're average. That's a big one. But the other ones aren't that bad. I mean, how is that a big one? That's a big one. When you when you go out of your way to help people and then like, yeah, because you got to let things go. At some point, you just got to let it just. There's one kid, kid, right? That there's one kid that I helped get him into acting class, mm-hmm. right? George Clooney. Go ahead. Whatever. Right. He well, he goes. He just got off the boat. I'm at bus from some city. I have no money. It's not an Asian guy. I don't know why I say boat. boat. I, don't, I know. He got off the boat in, in Asia. In Asia, we use the boat reference. Of course. Yeah, so I got mixed up. Yeah. Got off the and bus. And one day he goes, 
I have no money, and I knew that I have to take acting classes. So I gave him acting classes. How much is acting class money? Back then, it was like, I gave him like $2,500. That's a lot of fucking money to give somebody. He paid me back oh, years later. Wow. But, you know. And then one day, you know, he's now a name. Mm-hmm. And one day he goes, come here. Come here. I want to tell you something. And I go, what is it? And he goes, hey, I want to let you know that you're not a real comic. You know that, right? And I go, What? what? He's like, yeah, you're getting sponsored because you got lucky and you got on a TV show. What? But you don't have the skills. What? Right? And I, I looked at him. In shock. And I smiled. I was in shock. And I smiled like this. And I turned around. <laughs> and, and I walked to my car. And I was like, he's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> One day he's going to die. I kill you. Right? Yeah. And I think about it every single day. Where is he now? Killing it. He's doing well. Yeah. I can't believe Sebastian the, would say something no, like that. No, it was never Sebastian. <laughs> never Sebastian. No, I know. Sebastian will always be an He's ally. The shit. He's the best. If this guy's still doing well. That's not that mean shit to you, huh? Yeah. So my point is, is that mm-hmm. I have five or six of those. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm sorry that I get a little perturbed when these people... You know what I mean? Fuck you like that. Yeah. Doesn't Kalila try to help you get your shit right, though? She does. She does a good job, doesn't she? She does a really good job. But still, she can't get every... Like, today we had a conversation because I read an article about, like, that my show might not come back. Why would you right? read that? I don't know. I read it sometimes. Why would you read those? I got in a real big depression because of that audition that I went... That one that you I missed. Yeah. And I had a bad audition. So, I, in my head, I'm like... It's all, you know, what am I going to do? You know what I mean? It's all That's why I'm buying a house too right now. Mm-hmm. And it's like so much money. So I'm like, how am I going to pay? You know what I mean? All these things you come have up. plenty of money. I know, I have some, but it's fine. But my point is, is that. It you, just gets scary. It gets kind of, you know, you go through, you know, responsibility shit. And but in like, your tenure what? of being a comedian and an actor. Yeah. You've never had a huge drought. So why would you think it's going to come? Oh, I've had a dr- drought. For how long? A I had a, from from no from the end of Mad TV to s- animal practice. I didn't had I didn't do one single acting job. Yeah, but you're still touring. And that was a stand-up. four year fucking. But you're touring doing stand up. Yeah, but you don't want to be at the fucking chuckle hut fuck factory in Idaho. I'm at the chuckle hut fuck factory in Idaho next week. I know. My point is, is though that when you go on TV and like the, I was talking about that earlier, when you go through a lull, mm-hmm. right? You have to know that it's going to come back around. But I had a four year lull. And it was painful. I remember one time, Brian Callen, I was like about to cry and Callen sat next to me and he said something, he was trying to help me, but he said something so fucking insulting. And he goes, hey man, I go, what's up? He goes, yeah, I know you're bummed, right? I can't, yeah, man, I can't get any auditions. And he goes, hey man, wait, have you just thought about maybe learning how to act? <laughs> and I, I look at him and I go, what? And he goes, yeah, take an acting class or something. You're trying to learn. How and to I act. turned my body away, and I go, he's gonna, die. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna die. I'm gonna kill him. But you like Alan? Back then, when he tried to do that, no, it was yeah. like it was, no. I was so offended by it. No. Because it's like, oh, I'm sorry, Brian. I had already done fucking movies and TV shows and yeah. shit. And he was, he hadn't done that much. Oh, he had done. During that time, I always forget though. He's like seventy. He's done yeah, so he's much a, stuff. Yeah, he's eighty-three. He's done old. He was in he was I a, Love Lucy, the original. Do you know that? Yeah, Lucille as a, Ball. Yeah, as a teenager. Though. Yeah, he was a yeah. teenager. But he, uh, <laughs> he was a teenager. But he was uh, back then. He was in old school. Remember? Mm. And then he, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he did. Uh, he was really good in that uh, MMA movie. What was it called? He was in. He was worse in more stuff than he was good in. That's what I'll say about Brian. Don't say that. Brian's worse and he is bad in more stuff than he is good in stuff. And that's a fact about Brian. Yeah, Callen. don't say that out loud. Fuck though. Brian Callen. I've said it once. I'll say it a thousand times. If he wants to fight, we can set it up. Yeah, he does things where he'll send me videos and he'll just do, go on a rant. He sends me r- ranty videos me all the time and I want to fucking kill him because of it. Yeah, yeah. He thinks he's yeah. funny. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Bobby. Yeah, yeah. That's so mean. I know it is. I know. That's so mean. I know. It's, I'm not saying anything mean. I feel bad for them. Yeah, but now I can't get that fucking image out of my head. I now know. I'm going to be coming and that's going to be in my head the moment I come. You should see um, Harlequin Ichiosha's births when they come out. 
I don't want to see them. There's some in India, and they put like these this like demonic music to it. Do you go to a website to find all this fucked up shit, or how do you just find it independently? YouTube. Yeah, but how do you get there? Well, here's the thing. My Actually, this is a good tell. Open your YouTube app right now. This is a very good tell. Oh, you, oh you're you not going to be able to tell from my... You're not well, going to be able to tell from my... it's going to populate what it's you not, it's, it's not going it, to... Because because the things that I watch, you're going to be like, you watch that? And it's no, gonna, I'm interested. Oh, I'll show you. It's not uh, Harlequin Let Ichiro. Let me read it, though. Oh, so which one? Where? Just give me the what main page. What do I page. do? Give me the main page. Give it to me right this now. This is the main page right give here. Give it to me. I'm not going to fuck with your phone. Okay, here. I don't care if you fuck with it. Okay, so on Bobby's main YouTube page, you don't have the app? You have the app, don't you? No, I don't have You don't have the YouTube app? No. How do you not have that? But it has that. Okay. But on your main YouTube page, it's Britain's Got Talent Auditions, Ellen, Jimmy Fallon, American Idol, a, a Family Guy clip, somebody that you watch called Quick Bald Potato. Yeah. Do you watch Quick Conan clips? Yeah. Um, and then movie trailer. Oh, and then here's Asian stuff. And this came back up. I'm not kidding. I didn't do anything. I literally popped back up. I so, all I watch on YouTube is auditioning shows, American Idol, and all that shit. And I voice. love American Idol. I love The Voice. I love you all like that stuff. You like that stuff? Do I love? I love any show when somebody gets really nervous and they hit it out of the park. Oh, that you like the? Oh, you like success? I like. I, I like when people because I don't, can't do that. I crumble sometimes, mm -hmm. and I want to learn to be able to hit the ball every time. So I watch these auditioning shows, and I see guys fuck up on a like you know, if they're singing and they miss a line or they go and, and still regroup yeah. yeah and they regroup yeah and they find it again i like i Do like you think it. they're ever playing it up see i think that's played up i think sometimes they produce that shit and they go fuck it up a little bit and then a second time do it good <laughs> i'm telling you i think you they don't, produce you it. don't know i think they produce it you don't know they go get out there and because they always have a sad story they go tell them that your dad was handicapped and your mom was blind and your brother's gay and he tried to commit suicide. They all have the saddest fucking stories no, they, on earth. What do they find these people with the saddest stories? Yeah, in American Idol, there's a guy named Jeremiah, right? Watkins? No, his name is Jeremiah and he's gay. He's Jeremiah redheaded. Watkins. <laughs> no, no. Go ahead. And um, his par dad is, is a pastor, right? Pastor. Whatever, a preacher, whatever. Sure. And his storyline was, you know, his parents... You know what I mean? Aren't supportive of him because, you know, he's gay. Right. But then later, if you find out, he's, he tweets like, no, my parents love me. I don't know why they did that. Oh, you, they produced it that way. Right, of yeah. course. Yeah. To come up with a story, right? Mm -hmm. Or they say, this guy, you know, his, you know, his dad committed suicide a year ago. His dad's like, I'm right here. I'm and still alive. his dad's alive. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, Playing the tambourine and the, stuff. The, yeah. the, pray, the pray away the gay thing, I thought that was going to be a part of it. Yeah. That was on one of these episodes, you know, where they get sent away to camp. Yeah. yeah. My neighbor, my old neighbor got sent to pray away the gay camp. And I was like, man, that's so fucked up. Religious camp to pray away the gay. And you know what he said to me? What? The most fun summer he's ever had. Because you fuck all the they time. They fucked everybody. Everyone oh got the fuck. Oh my God, that's where all they the fuckers are. They sent them in the woods to fuck. Uh, that's what, what it is. What do you is. think these kids are doing out there? Yeah. They don't pray. And the camp counselors, he was like, they were the fucking, they were the best gays because they were older and they knew how to keep, they knew how to like teach us how oh, to keep the secrets. Oh, they teach you the secret. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. They've been doing it for you. They go, the camp counselors, why would you sign up for that? Yeah. If you didn't want to go back and fuck every summer. Before I leave, I want to say what, what I think the biggest sin there is. In just of all time? In, in, I just think in, in terms of families. Yeah. What's the biggest sin? Is it drives me crazy when a family disowns their child because they're homosexual. Yeah. I find that to be so fucking appalling to me. Do you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I couldn't agree. I could, I like think, if you I had think, a kid. I think disowning your children for almost anything is pretty tough. If your kid was gay, what would you say? Come, you're my son. Come out to me right now. Dad? Yeah, bud. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm watching my show. I mean, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, that's okay. What's I know up? you watch your favorite show, but yeah, um, what's going on? Anyway, I just, I, it's, I, you know, oh, hold on. Let me pause two and a half men. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, but you, you have the box set that I got you for Christmas last it year. It was I very mean. sweet of you, and I just, you know, Charlie is is my favorite, so I got to watch this. Anyway, okay, good. Um, um, it's really hard for me to say, but um, you know, if you need money, just ask, bud. I, I'll give you anything. It's in not the world. about money, Dad. Oh, okay. Um, you know how, like in high school. I never went to prom. Yeah, that bummed me and your mother out a lot. <laughs> yeah. I got to tell you, I was really yeah. sad about that. You know, and... I got my suit tailored just for you and your little 5'6 body, and that cost me a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. So... 
And you know my best best friends were all Larry and Butch, yeah, right? Yeah, Larry and Butch, your buds. Yeah, my buds. Yeah, they're really nice guys. Yeah, and you know that they came out last year. They came out outside? They're, they're gay. I told you that, right? That they're gay. Yeah. Yeah, you t- yeah you mentioned that. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I, but you were I thought you were just joke, joking around. About no, 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 they're fully fully gay. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Um. Okay. So you're not gonna hang out with those guys anymore, huh? <laughs> no, I'm. They're my roommates. Right. I'm saying, but now that they're gay, you're, you're no, but you're, I you know that they're roommates and you know that they were gay. Anyway, I want to let you know that um, you know that I'm I, I too am gay. Really? <laughs> okay. You, you okay. Would, you wouldn't do that. No. Of course not. You would kiss him on the forehead. I would say, so what? Right. If my kid said, I'm gay, I'd go, okay. Do you need my help with something? Do you need my help getting through this time? Do you want any help? What you would say it like that. You're so stern. I would say, what can I do? No, but say it in okay. a loving way, okay. dude. He just okay. was just vulnerable in I, front I of you. Say, I would say, okay. I, I'll tell you, I'm gay. Dad, I'm gay. Okay. Now I'm okay with that. Oh, thanks. I'm comfortable with that. You are? Yeah. Okay, I, don't, cool. I, I don't care whatever you are. I'm still going to love you no matter what. That doesn't mean anything to me. That's exactly what Whether you Whether or not should... you, you, you suck dick or eat puss, that, it doesn't that, matter. That, 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 We'd have more in common if you ate puss because I got to tell you, I have some that, good that, box that, that, stories, you know? Yeah. Even your mom. I can tell you some great stuff about going down on her. I don't want to hear about mom, mom's But box. I got to tell you, bud, I don't give a fuck what you do with your time. You're a grown man. You make your own decisions. Okay? Okay. All right, now get out of here, you little fag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would love the fuck out of my... Why do I care? Why would I care if my kids fucking get... No. But... But I will say if I would have a harder time if my kid was an addict. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's coming different. from the world that I come from, especially. That'd be harder for me. Oh, that's different. Yeah. Yeah. Approaching that would be way harder than any than sexuality because that would have that would be tough for me because it would break my heart a little bit. Also, there's because because, you know, the old thing people used to go, oh, my kid is gay. What did I do wrong? I would never think like that. Of yeah. course not. That's stupid. Yeah. But the addict thing, I would go, what did I do wrong? But it's also that you're born with that. Right? I know, dude. But I'm just saying, like, it, it, it is it is a thing that so, it's, it's social. It's socially. A lot of addiction happens from a lot of social things as well. So then, I my brain would automatically go to, did I fuck up? Did I fuck him up? Did right. I fuck him yeah, up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying because I'm a yeah. child of addiction. So it's like from my head, that's where I go to. Yeah, I think that well, you are a child of addiction. Yeah. Um Because I'm a drug addict, you know, and I also know a lot of dudes that um, are in AA or whatever, talks to groups who their parents were sober since they were born. Oh, yeah. Right? So, like, they used when their parents are both in recovery, right? And the parents, imagine having, you know, 20, 30 years of sobriety and your son and or daughter is slamming heroin in your fucking mm. bathroom. Well, what would you do? And then you have to use... Those tough love tactics. Yeah. Of like, you got to leave the house, right? I can't give you any money until you decide to get so, you know, God. that kind of stuff. It's so hard. See, that's what I'm saying. That would be harder than my kid goes, so fucking Dad, hard. I'm gay. I'd go, okay. That's yeah. why I said you need my help because I, I would say it in a way of like, are you are you telling me that in a good place or a bad place? Because if he says uh, it's coming from a, a bad place, people are harassing me and fucking with me and like, I would immediately want to know what I can do. Yeah, I'm. I'm happy that you told me that you're gay. I, I'm. That's great. Awesome. I'm glad you trusted me with this. With Wait, this what would you do? Life. What would you do if you somebody know, was bullying my gay son? No, no, not kill even him. just that. I'd go fucking kill him. But you're like, if you, if like, um, you you get a call, right? You're on the road and you have a kid, mm-hmm. and five guys just beat your son to a pulp, where his eye came out of his socket, and he's on like critical ad- condition. Yeah. What would you do? I'm getting on a flight immediately. And they'll do back. what? I'm, com- I'm going to kill those kids. I'm no, you're not. Kids. Yes, I am. No, you're not. No, yes, you're I am. Not. I'm going to kill those kids. I'm going to go to prison. You're, you're not going to do any of that. You, you hurt my family? I'm gonna, no, no, no. I'm no, no, no. Hurt you're you bad. not in the mafia, dude. This is not like. You hurt my family? I'm going to hurt you bad. No, you hurt, your you son's eyes popped out. He's not That's dead. That's right. Oh, well, he's, that, um, then their eyes are going to come out. Then but, each of their eyes. They're all going to come out. That's what you would do? Justice. Oh, my. No, you wouldn't. Justice. Yes, I would. You'd be like, no, you wouldn't. No, and I'd say that right to the judge. You know why I did that? Because they did that to my son. You little faggot. What did you say? Yeah, you wouldn't do it. Oh, uh, that was good. Yeah, you see it'd that? be hard. That'd be so hard, though. If somebody abu- if somebody fucking bullied my son, regardless of if he was gay or not, if somebody just bullied my kid, yeah. I would have a conversation with him. I'd not go, the parents or the kids. No, fuck the parents. What the fuck? Parents are bullshit. I would go to the kid. I go, hey, motherfucker, let's have a talk about what you did to my son. Parents, what do you? That whole, what are you gonna do? You talk to the parents. What are they gonna do? 
Our Bradley would never do that. They're yeah. going to defend their fucking kid. Yeah. And no, the kid gonna, oh, so you come with the kid. The kid goes, I'm gonna go, I'm oh, gonna, here gonna, comes the freaky fucking redheaded dad. Right. And I go, and I have a try to honest conversation with him. I say, you know, you said some shit to my son that I don't you, think is okay. What freak? What did you say? You freak. What? I said, Freckly you, freak. I said, you said some things to my son. Yeah, I'm saying it to you now, you fucking faggot freak. Say that to me one more time. Faggot freak. <laughs> That's how it would go. Oh, wow. Right outside of, right wow, outside of the wow, high school. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. And I would go to prison for punching a teenager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I gave him a chance. Well, this is a very enlightening. Right, you gotta go. That was a I very know. enlightening, you know. This podcast was great. I loved it. You did a great job. It was fun. Hey, um, you want to plug any dates? Yeah, I'm going to be in Tempe soon. Yeah, improv. Love it. I have so much fun. And, and Phoenix is one of my favorite places in the world. Yeah, man. yeah. Um, go to go to Bobby Lee. Tempe. I'm also in Denver Comedy Works soon. <sighs> Go to bobbylee.com. Okay, 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 yeah. No, Bobby Lee Live. Bobby Lee Live. Dot com and come see me. I'll put me. The, uh, the link in the description below. Come see Bobby. Go to Cheeto Santino on Twitter and Instagram. AndrewSantino.com for all my dates. I'm going to Vegas. I'm going to be in Vegas first week of May. Uh, second week of May, sorry. Uh, keep, uh, keep plugging away. Keep listening to us. Thank you so much for coming, Robert E. Lee. I love you so much. I really do. Mm -hmm. Give me a kiss. No. Okay. Uh. You playing a video game again? No, I'm looking at, uh, I gotta go. You are that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers.